Greetings, programs. Welcome to my garage. I'm here with my dogs. They need loving all the time. They'll probably interrupt me several times, but that's okay. Uh, tonight, I'm going to go over what I've learned so far with some of the Ross. Well, not all of what I've learned, but I found their procedure. I thought it was important enough to document. So we're going to go through that. Um, so where we're going to end up is what you're seeing on the screen right there. Where, if you'll look on the right-hand side of that thing that keeps scrolling up, is a bunch of axes and joysticky things. On the left-hand side is something called twist, which is an X, Y, and Z vectors that we're going to be going. Got it wired up so that on my joystick controller I have here, if you'll notice, X and Y on the linear is on one stick. X and Y on the angular is on another stick, which is probably violating some kind of laws. And the uh, Z is on one D channel, and the uh, Z of the angular is on the other channel. And you see it goes between 0 and 1, and I can move them around, and they uh, update pretty quick. Right? Big old long numbers coming out of there. And that's where we're going to end up. So we need to make a uh, we need to make a make a directory src. That's the default. Cd and src and the R. There's nothing there. Make a directory there called launch. We're going to be using two nodes here. Two nodes that we care about. Let me go get the uh, copy. What we're going to do here, though, is we're going to take off the parameters so we get some default stuff. So you've seen me launch something already. I'm a talker and uh, and a uh, listener. Well, I haven't lost a listener here, but if you've gone through the default setup, they have you run a talker and a listener. Listener, one of them C plus plus, and the other one's Python, and they talk to one another. And so it's to show you that one, your system works, and two, it doesn't matter whether you're doing C plus plus or Python, that things interplay because they're talking over a queue bus. What we're going to do here is we're going to fire up two things at once. We have some boilerplate set up code. This is our launch description. This is this this is required, and it returns one of these things. And inside of that, we have an array of actions. We're going to declare the default level as debug, which it normally is. This is me working through some stuff. You don't really need that at the moment. In fact, let's get rid of that. Get rid of that all the way. What you do need is you need one action. We're going to fire up a node. That's going to be a joy node. And that joy node is an executable. We're going to call it joy node. These are the arguments we're going to pass to it. We're going to pass the log level into it. And then we're going to fire up another node. Tell out twist joy that takes and I'll have links below to the man pages for this thing. It takes a joy message, turns it into a twist message. So let me show you what you get. Open up. You want to fire something right? What? Again, this is rudimentary. So when this all gets fleshed out, we're going to have us a big old launch file in a much more automated way so we can just say Ross launch and have it do all the things. At least I believe that's how it's supposed to happen. But until then, this is what we got going on. So now we do have a launch file. And you'll see we have things going on. You can see down here, I've got a, uh, a joystick. And if I click a little button there, I'm actually getting numbers through that button. You've got, you folks can't see that, you programs. But you see our info, we, we fired up a, Tell out twist joy, 
which takes a twist message and turns it into a joy, uh, takes a joy message and turns it into a twist message. And then we have a joy node that goes out, we'll find standard joysticks. If you know what your joystick is, there's a, there's a configs out there for like Xbox, Xbox One controllers and PS3 controllers and that thing. This is just generic joystick. What you're not seeing is the output of it. And what I've done is on another computer, because I can only run so much on that Latte Panda. This is on my lab machine. This is on a different computer altogether. The reason I had you set that node ID, uh, the, the ROS ID in your environment, so this will work. So the first thing I want to do is let's show you what comes out of the Joy node. Because it knows how to go across the network, it'll find all that needs to find in case you're wondering about that. Uh, as that's coming up, let me say ROS2 topic list. It should list all the topics that are available to me. Those are topics, and the Joy is the one we care about right now. You'll see that scrolling up really fast and crazily. And if you can, uh, yeah. So you'll see here, as I move the X connection, you'll see some numbers fly by. If I move Y, I get a minus one, a plus one, and I get some numbers on there. Z, I get some numbers over here. All right. Oh, you know what's happening? I should be getting not these numbers. I think I've got some latent parameter set. All right. Let's see what that is. So one of the things you need to do in the debugging is check these things. So you say your ROS2 uh, param list. You need all the parameters available for everybody. When I started here, these parameters were set kind of funky. Really? I might be having some network issues in, in the lab. Do got some junk going on, that's for true. Oh, there they go. I don't know why it's going up working over here. So we might have to do this all on the on the Latte Panda for this. So if you'll see, as I'll scroll up a little bit. This joy node has a bunch of things sitting there. Auto repeat, device name, device ID, that sort of thing. That's what things are assigned to. What things. Uh, oh, no, that's right. That doy does, does do the right thing. The tell out twist is doing the weird things for me. Okay, so since we're having problems, let's do this. I'm going to do a Alt Shift D. Give me a second. One of these. And we'll just do everything over here. We're going to go what the joystick is going on. And oh, you can't see that. So let me go fix that. Oh, there you go. I'm to make it a little bit longer because the joystick does have some things come out of it. We have a few things going on here. So if I go topic, cross. Cross to topic. Echo joy. So now I should be able to see all the stuff that's coming out of the this with the joystick. Okay. See as I move my joystick, I have numbers. I maybe a little hard to see because of the update. Well on there, we're gonna about to fix that. I've got numbers coming out here. The top uh Eight or so are just the axis. Look, I've got minus one, plus one, minus one, plus one on the D-pad as I move. Um, as I hit the buttons, buttons come up nice for me. It turns from ones to zeros, and I've got even the buttons on the press down. And I can also have buttons here. But that's that's no bueno because you can't make heads or tails out of it. One and two, it's just streaming as fast as it can stream it. So let's stop that. We're going to make some parameters. In fact, I'm going to go over these parameters right here. Those are the parameters there. We're going to go grab my node. As I am here. 
can we grab this? Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to take this, we're going to take all these parameters, copy them, and then when I put them in here, we'll go over what they mean. You go look at the documentation. There's several parameters. And actually, if you look over here, when we pull the parameters up, so if I want to know what the topic of here is, topic, cross to ram dump joy dash dash print. So just print them to the screen. If you could spell right, Harold, those are all the parameters that currently have. Um, the auto repeat rate is that's in Hertz. So 20 times a second is when it's going to just fire up. It's going to spit out some information, even though there's nothing has changed. The coalesce interval means it's going to go check every one millisecond because it has to uh, pull this device to see what's changed on it. Dead zone is how far you can move the stick without it affecting anything. And that's a percentage, by the way. Multiply that by 100 to get a percent. So and moving these sticks uh, less than 5% won't even show anything. The device ID, device name, and all those kinds of things. We don't care about those at all. So we're going to set some of those things. So we're going to set them over here. Documentation has those in there as well. This is how you go about setting them. We're going to change this. The dead zone is still fine because I put it in there because I thought we might want to change it. Um, the auto repeat level, we're going to have it doing one hertz once a second. And I want it to last, I only want it to do every hundred milliseconds. So a tenth of a second. Unless we haven't changed anything else here, I'm going to save this out. Come back over here. Don't see it. Fire it up again. I would find a scapegoat. Yeah, I need to find one too. That's for true. Don't I? All right. Back over here. Let's go see what we're getting out of the joy uh, node now. The reason that this is slash joy, that's the name of the topic, not the name of the thing putting out the topic. And that topic puts out an axis. Puts out a joystick node. See, it's much slower once every second. Um, that we get if I change stuff, I get something immediately. You know, plus and minus ones going in. If I hit a button, I get a button change. So that's nice. To get all those things. And even the uh, shoulder buttons work. Cool. That doesn't do us a whole lot of good unless we watch what kind of twist we're going to get. And twist is how you tell a robot where to go. It's a vector. So it's both angular and linear vectors. We're kind of abusing that right now. We're using two linear though. And what we're going to do is, before I get too crazy here, uh, this is a standard standard package. I, I got it uh, download. Downloaded with a base install of ROS too. I uh, tell y'all, twist joy is the name of the node. We're gonna list the parameters of that because we're gonna get we're gonna get into that in a second. Give it a moment. Really? What? Oh, I don't want a topic list. I want to do a ROS to node. Nope. Ah, I got to put a note on there. So those are all the things it's going to do. You'll notice I've got scales, angular, scale, turbo. And there's also a turbo key that I don't, I don't have enabled. I'm not going to enable. I have an enable button. And I've got uh, some X, Y, and Z and scaling on that. So, saying all of that, we want to monitor what's coming out of that. 
Ross to topic echo Kelly uh, Oh no, it's not telling yeah. We're putting out command velocities. That's the default uh topic it quote push this thing out on. To give that a second to uh, fire up. Okay. I'm holding the uh see it comes out once a second, just whatever. I'm gonna move the X key. X on the left hand side. Then oh the Y one's coming out of a Z over there. On the on the on the left hand side, on the right hand side, we get things that are changing, but nothing really. Oh, we got something coming out on the X, and that's going into linear. And this is Angular Z over here, and these things here don't even know where to show up. But we're still putting out things. I'm having to hold this shoulder key down to get anything coming out. So why don't we do something different than that? Why don't we? Come back over here. So just like those parameters here, there's parameters over in the bottom over here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut to some of the chase here. We'll grab all of these parameters, including the comma. Then we'll, uh, instead of working through them one at a time, that sort of thing, we'll uh, just go through them the entire way. We'll V them in. So let's go through and talk about these. Enable button minus one. A negative entry here will make it so that the button is ignored. The require enable button, I've set it to false. That is a Python false, not a JavaScript false, by the way. Yeah, X axis, linear X the in linear axis comes off channels zero, two, and six. That's coming out of the uh, joystick. The y-axis, the ang the angular axis is coming off three, five, and seven, so that I can use both. I can use both of these things to drive some stuff if I want to. Uh, linear scale is I've just got them all set to ones. Before I uh, did this, I had the hardest time making this work because the scale was set to zero. Guess what? Zero times anything is. Yeah, exactly. And I don't know how I missed that. I think uh, maybe my assumption would be that the default scale would be one, not zero, for doing these conversions. But then again, maybe they wanted to be that way, so it forces you to go do what I did right here. So we're going to save these off. Come back over here to our workspace. You see, we these things are still going, right? I come over here and say Control C. Since these are individual nodes are still up and running, they're just not getting any data on their topic anymore. They're still going just fine. So now let's go give them some better data on their topic and fire up both those nodes again with all of our new hotness as a parameter. Okay, that says we've started up, right? It says we're ready to go. It's found my joystick. If you look right here, it's found my joystick here. And then these are parameters that I've set up for it. So we know we got the right parameters and it gave me a scale. If you get if you get something wrong over here, when you go to fire this thing up, you'll get an error here. It it dies it, it dies a bad death. So now we're back over here going on. You see we're getting data now all by itself. It's updating once a time. If I move this is the right hand um, Y in this case, uh, the right hand X axis for left and right, up and down. I think I got that backwards. Uh, y should probably be that way, shouldn't it? Yep. X needs to be here. Y needs to be here. I've got these backwards. Yep, let's go fix them. Come back over here. So be on the angular side of things. 
So we're going to call this three. This one five. Control S on that to save it. Come up here, control C to stop it. Up arrow. Go. Wait till we get our debug going. And then we can go in our other window. I'll show you. X is Y. Y angular. Left and right is X on both angular and and up and down is Y. Well, thing in the moon here. And of course, we can press the buttons. Of course, they don't, the buttons and things don't show up here. Um, we'll have to listen specifically for those buttons in another way. I'm not sure we're going to use for them right now. I just want to get the robot where it drives around. And then, of course, our D pad for. I'm not sure when I'm going to do those. I just mapped them out for a good measure. Yeah, so cool. Well, there it is. Let me uh, stop all this so I can show you it actually doing what I said I would do. I'll go back over here and say Control C. I've got uh, get status. Got some stuff I added. Get add. Status. All right, I got a new file that's thrown in there. Get commit dash am. Uh, beginning launch file. Get push dash u. So it should push it up, and away it goes. So it's available right now. GitHub, and uh, to prove that, back over here, get out of there. It give me a refresh and if I get a refresh. And we can all go play on it. There you go. There for everybody to use, everybody to see, and hopefully you do something. So So programs from whether it's my mistakes or your successes, I hope you learned something today. Come to my stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Twitch, 8 to 10 p.m. And hang out with me. I got a Discord hanging out there. I'll put this information uh, in my my bio. But at, Twi at, at Twitch and Twitter, both is at Herald Culture. And uh, come see me. Hang out with me. Let me know. Uh, send me, leave me a comment. What can I show you? What do you want to see happen? And um, you want to know something about the talking head? Hey. Hey, talking head, what's it's up? It's a dollar for every smart thing you say. It'll be poor. Yeah, he's a bit surly, this uh, talking head is. And so give me a yell, and I will be happy to help you. Take care. All right done trying to produce anything today oh man what a mess